Okay. Oh, I've got my finger in front of the camera. Sorry, Whoopsie. guys. That was a good start, wasn't it? Right, let me just change this and... Oh, that's not a good angle for me either. Wow, that was many chins. <laughs> and I've got, my, chins. I've got my hand in front of the... Oh, good Lord, what's going on? Sorry, guys, we are having, a, as usual, our usual technical difficulties. Um, just getting set up. Just waiting for Ant to join me. Oh, there I am, look. Oh, hang on, let me turn my noise down. Hello, guys. Hi there, Alison. I can see Esther is watching. Right, let me... Hello, Annalisa. I'm going to get sat down a little bit and try not to put my hand in there. I've, I've got to make sure my orientation's right. Ready for when we go, um... Oh, no, I just dropped my phone. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, dear. <laughs> um... <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, yes, well, like I say, I have to get the orientation right, ready for when I change to do the overhead. So I'm sorry that I dropped you all. <laughs> um... But yeah, hopefully. Oh, I've got a request. Here we go. It's not from me. Oh no, it's not from you. Sorry, Jenny, I can't have you on screen, my darling. Um, but uh, you will, if you comment. Obviously, you're part of the show. So <laughs> sorry about the rough, the rough start to um, to <laughs> to the video. Anthony's having some issues connecting. I think. I've sent you a request for Here we go is let's see i have to hold it with the wrong hand because i put yeah. my hand up with the camera Yay, there Come on, you baby. Oh, oh i need to turn my volume, volume down now, don't I? I so then i can't yeah. hear you coming back at me damn look at my bag <laughs> they're sound they're fine um, hey guys oh i can hear you still yeah that's better that's better so hopefully you can see us okay um I'm just going to have to prop up my, my frozen shoulder arm. Um, so, as you can see, Anthony is with us this evening. Um, he has joined us. I'm going to lay down some fat beads. <laughs> That's my uh, fancy microphone there that you can see. You've got quite a good view in the background, actually, your yeah. side. It's quite, looks yeah. quite... Nice little, uh, nice little Yeah, it looks quite pretty. Um, yep, you've got your cup of tea and we're ready. Um, I've got my cup of tea as well. Yeah, Joe's invited me like to get involved today um, because she was missing me. So. Yeah. Um, but also, we've got some exciting things as well. Yes. So we'll be showing you this, the uh, time for the tea blender brush haddy. Um, you've probably, hopefully, seen it. Um, it spins, spins. <laughs> and it holds up to 10 brushes, which, which um, is the perfect amount for what you need for your colours. Um, Check you out. out. <laughs> These are the rainbow brushes. So before, before we get started, started, I'm just quickly tell you about a couple of quick Oh, here we go. go. Straight into it, no messing. Dean Wilson, crafting man of the year, I'm coming after you. So the spinny caddy itself, introduction of offer up until midnight today. Say ten percent, should be twenty one ninety five, which sounds nineteen seventy five. But hold yourself. This is big one. So get the caddy and then two sets of rainbow blender brushes. So ten brushes all together. Um, saving twenty percent. You get that today. Fifty seven pounds. Now one of them is stock on those. Um, currently at eighteen. So again, up until midnight. Get these sold. Um, Joe's going to show you. Some stuff stuff and and I am, I'm going to yeah, colouring in, I'm yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm purely here just to, just to be handsome, just to take these crowns, so yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. As always, I mean, those of you that have watched for a long time remember when I used to 
join us and co-host with me. Um, we didn't usually see his uh, his handsome face no, on screen. I mean, look at my hair, COVID hair, it's proper. Well, there's like, nothing oh. wrong with it. I like it. Mine's very long. My fringe is yeah. just out of control. I wasn't keen on being on camera. Uh, no, I had, to, I had to convince him because it's the way forward, isn't it? It's the future. And and everybody wants to see your face. And everybody's commented how much they've missed you being part of the lives. So I think it's only right. Um, oh, I feel that. That feels that. <laughs> do tell us if there's any issues with the sound and um and we'll also be able to answer all the questions as well where sometimes i struggle to keep up with all of the comments so it's going to help if you've got any questions just um pop them in the comments and i will um will pick them up and let me know because i'm going to change orientation which is why i dropped you in the first place because i'm not doing very well and i'm having to hold you up quite high so you don't see all my shins um so it's been my armpit um so um the other thing that i was going to say is i think what we'll do tonight as well if you comment um and leave us a little bit of a message um then we will pop you into um a giveaway i don't know what we're going to give away yet um it might be one of the cards that i make tonight in fact i think that's what we'll do we'll give away one of the cards that i make tonight um so if you leave us a comment um and let us know what you think to the spinner caddy to the um the brushes or anything else that you any other questions you've got just let us know and we'll do our best to answer them so the sound is very echoey i'm really sorry if it's echoey um i have a feeling that might be because we're both on our phones quite close to each other yeah but i will be Leaving. Yes, I'm going to un unjoin Ant for the poor while I'm demonstrating, uh, but you'll be able to hear his voice. Um, so, yeah, so you don't have to look at his face, <laughs> bless you. But then it'll just mean you'll see more of what I'm doing, and then I'll invite him back at the end um, to say goodbye to everyone. So um, I think I shall, if I un unapprove you now, and then we'll. Um, we'll come back to you soon so let's see goodbye for now right so i'm going to change orientation um so that you can see i mean it's you still you're still with me but i don't know if it's just because there's a bit of a delay or whether you have to disappear <laughs> yeah, yeah julie you don't have to watch me eat my chocolate supplies i haven't actually got any more <laughs> I've got some chocolate supplies. Oh, there you go. You've gone. See, you can see my chocolate supply, supplies are just there with my cup of tea. But I'm going to zoom in. There we go. And we can see now our spinning brush caddy um, in, in all its glory. That's it. Um, <laughs> Bye, it... Jenny. See you soon. Oh. <laughs> And Alicia said the best part about the caddy is that she could put it together herself and didn't need a husband to help her. It is very, very easy to do. Um, I'm not going to put one together tonight because there is a video. Let me just straighten this up a little bit. There is a video um, on the website. When you go to the listing, there is a video um, where I show you how to put it together. But it is super, super simple. Um, you won't have any issues with it. We we had issues with the sample one, which was smaller. But that was because there were two ways you could have slotted the centerpieces together. But on this, there is only one way to do it. You can't possibly get it wrong. So hopefully now that Anthony's gone, um, it's not as echoey. So do let, let me know. Um, and if you can't hear him, if he needs to just speak up a bit just let him let us know um i'm sorry we've also not said hello to everyone but hello to everyone that's joining us i'm so happy that you're all with us so i am going to move those to one side i'm going to keep them keep them a little bit in in view because they are the star of tonight's show so as anthony's already told you the um the different offers that are available he will keep reminding you of those as we go along yes i will um, I'm also, I'll stick links in the um, in the actual chat as well when I can connect to the internet 
Um, sound is great. Yay, that's uh, good then. That's good. It's not so echoey anymore. That's better. I thought yeah. it was just because we're both on at the same time. It creates a little bit of a. We'll we'll figure out a way of doing it eventually. And we are looking for help, aren't we, for all of our yes technical issues. Very much so. Um, <laughs> so hopefully we will. We've got an expert coming to help us. We have. Soon. Yes, thankfully. Uh, Claire. Harrison says that she's ordered a caddy for oh, her new she craft space. Yeah. She's very excited, can't wait, and the hubby can't complain because he's just got a full table. Oh, wow, that is so, very yeah, fancy. A very, a very good excuse for it plenty of new craft products and IFB. Definitely. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to use one of our stencils. Now, um, I can't remember if Aunt did mention that we've got a sale on stencils. I didn't. I was that excited by the <laughs> and brushes that I forgot the stencils. The stencils, all stencils that we have in stock are 25% off today. Again, up until midnight. We're doing offers up until midnight tonight. Um, anything after that, all the prices will revert back to normal. So, <clears throat> you know what to do. Get your finger out. Get on the website. <laughs> and get them ordered. That's right. Um, so I'm going to use one of my stencils and I'm going to work, work in a small space so that I can uh, show you everything, hopefully. Oh, that was, uh, so, <laughs> that was sorted. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that you can see what I'm doing because sometimes Facebook just needs a bit of time to catch up. Nat Natalia says she can hear me as well, so that's good. I will project my voice. It's a little bit like um, creating craft where we're kind of socially distant. <laughs> Um, we yeah. don't actually have to, but we are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having a little bit of my chocolate. Mm. Um, Julie Hutchins says that she ordered the stencil this morning with her order. Yes, I remember seeing your order, Julie. I think mm. you were the very first one of the I day. think you were, yeah. Um, although she was gutted that there were some stencils that are no longer available which she wanted to complete her collection. But... Unfortunately, there are some. They've been, obviously. Because I think we do, obviously, the blender brushes are a big part of what we do. We do sell quite a lot of stencils, which is great. Some of them we will recommission. Um, some of them possibly not. Um, so it is a case of if you see something that you like, do grab it. Because you don't know, it might not be available. So I'm just going to um, do a little bit of background with this stencil. And I'm to keep my um, bit of cardstock in position I've just wrapped up a little bit of washi tape and I'm just going to pop that in the center there just so that I can keep that in place but move my stencil around this is a <laughs> message to Natalia's partner <laughs> this is a hint that there's oh. a sale on <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with my speckled egg I'm going to use my blue blender blue blender brush that's a blue blender brush. that's a mouthful <laughs> Um, and I love the speckled egg and I am um, going to just say to you guys um, this speckled egg has been so difficult to get <laughs> that if you've wanted it in your stash then I would suggest you get it pretty quick um, because it's it's just like it's almost like hen's teeth hen's teeth hen's wow. teeth I don't think I've ever heard that before <laughs> Well, as rare as hen's teeth, you've never heard that. No. So I'm just going to mask off this top bit because. What was it that, that uh, what was the crafty word that I heard earlier? The crafty word? And I'll, you had to explain it to me. You said it's like um, guys that are oh, cut yeah. out. Was, was it a, began with an F or a V? Not vellum, I know what vellum is. <laughs> oh, you've lost, I've gone now. Something. Anyway, just updating my crafty knowledge. Oh, I'm not sure what that was. What was what were we talking about? I can't remember. <laughs> um, oh, I'm gonna take my watch off because it annoys me. It just annoys me. Right. So I, as you can see, <clears throat> I am just moving my stencil around randomly on some craft cardstock, and I just thought it would be really nice to see how the distress oxides really pop on a darker background not just doing them on a white background which is what we would normally do um 
Julie Hutchins loves the speckled egg. I, I like the speckled egg. A lot of people like the speckled egg. It's, it's quite a it's a quite a neutral colour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just and the thing is with with all the distress oxides, depending on what you match it up with, it just does it completely changes it. Um but I think this is just a really nice um yeah, it's just like you say, it's quite neutral, isn't it? It's uh, it's not too in your face. Um but it and it goes with pretty much anything. So the reason that I've masked off some of the rest of my stencil is that I don't want any harsh lines. I did a little practice run, which is always good to do. Um, and I did realise that I was leaving some little marks on the rest of my page that were from the edges. So that's just a little tip. Um, that if you've got a little um a bit you know a bit of pattern um or stencil that is quite close to the edge then just mask off that edge so that you don't um end up with a, a harsh line so that's the speckled egg and before i move on to my next color i am just going to do a bit of clean up here and um, so i'm going to use my my little chamois Jenny Orchard says, I'm undecided which caddy to get. Ooh. I have a few brushes and don't know whether to get the caddy by itself or the bigger mm. bundle. Ooh. But it means that she won't then have room for other brushes. Help me, please. Can't <laughs> afford two. So, um, as I said before, this today's introductory offer of £57.50, that is only up until midnight. After that, it's going to go up to £71.95. So today, uh, right now, is really it is your, your opportunity to, to make it. the most of it. What you could do, Jenny, is um, if you go for the bundle, you've got two sets of rainbow brushes. So you can keep your nice rainbow brushes in your caddy and then your other blended brushes that you've got, you can keep them to the side. It's not like you're never going to use them again, but at least it'll look, it'll look nice on your craft desk, won't it? That That'd be my true. advice. Okay. But, you know, all equally, I understand... You know, it's money, isn't it? And, uh, you know, as much as we like to think it grows on trees, it, <laughs> it really doesn't, does it? Um, you know, we appreciate, and I'm sure Jo says this every week, and I know it's something that she says to me when the orders come in and she's buzzing, but, you know, we do appreciate all the support that everybody gives us, even at the times where, you know, we've got new releases or sales on, and it's like 30, 40 orders a day packing, it's madness. Um, and you've got to carry them to the post office in the rain, snowing, <laughs> uh, you know, if I've got a car or whatever, but, you know, we, we do appreciate it and we'd much rather be doing that than nothing at all. Exactly, so. exactly. So um, I've gone in now with some cracked pistachio and the good thing about the, um, about the Distress Oxides is they do layer up. So they're quite opaque and they do layer up on top of each other. I keep seeing your reflection in the window and I keep thinking it's rosy. <laughs> it's no, really it's, funny. Definitely you're, you're definitely not a cat. No, that is true. Right, so I'm just thinking about where I want to place um, my uh, my clouds. And I'm mixing up um, the large cloud and then I'm going to add in some of the smaller clouds just to fill up this background with these clouds. And I just think it's a really sweet, um, makes for a really sweet pattern. I just, are you making your own pattern background? And if you go over the edges of your... Um, of your card like this that's what gives it the um illusion of it being you know cut from a pattern piece of cardstock rather than something that you've you've stamped yourself or stenciled yourself so it just works a lot i'm sorry my my hand was seems to be in front of what i'm doing on occasion but hopefully you can you can see quite well what i'm doing the 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 best bit is when you do the reveal and you you take your your hand away and you see what you've created. So I'm just. Good evening, Elizabeth Flynn. Oops. Um, hello, Emma Ricketts. Nice to be back. Thanks for uh, <laughs> the mention there. Uh, Laura Ann says, great tip about masking bits off. That's right. Yes, definitely. Um, otherwise, you know, we, you can then focus on the blending, whereas if it's not masked down, you're having to focus on keeping the stencil still as well. For the sake of a bit of masking tape, which you can reuse as well. I know Joe sticks a little bit on the... Um, yeah, they end up stuck to my arm and everything, they're don't they? The they're all over the place. They're all kinds They do end up everywhere, don't they? Yeah, find them in my hair. <laughs> yeah, everywhere. Um, Julie Hutchins says that, um, in regards to Yay. Jenny's question about the blender brushes, 
to go for the bundle and find a pot to put the others in or ask a crafty friend to make you one. Oh, that is a good idea. Yeah, Maura Ann agrees that she wishes money grew on trees. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I'd have a whole orchard in the back garden if that was the case. <laughs> Um, we well none of us would be working for a living and then we wouldn't be doing this would we so then there'd be you know um, no need for us sorry if i pronounced this wrong but lunon riviere uh or riviere hello there asks i, I know only been use in touch with us today yes classical yeah. rounded blender tools oh right, brushes okay. less tiring on the wrists very much so so i'm presuming um what you mean are the the ones with the foam um so they're wooden handles with the foam base um and they are very tiring on the wrists they're also um very uh, difficult to blend with without getting a, a harsh line or so i find um, and I've found in the past, um, hence the reason why when I found the brushes, um, I had to have them because they make my life so much easier and they make the results of what I do so much better. But also that makes my crafting with them so much more fun because I do find, I think I'm going to use the green with the peacock feathers because it's quite a greeny, a greeny colour. Um, so so yes yeah, so I, I do find that they are much easier i also don't need as many of them so i don't need to have one for every color i can as you've just seen me do i've used this for the cracked pistachio and i'm now using it for the peacock feathers and all i've done is just um wipe it off with um, a microfiber cloth um, in between each shade and that works perfectly so um so yeah so i would say that if you are finding that um the traditional tools are um giving you um you know aches and pains in your wrists then definitely do give the blender brushes a try it yeah. did change my change my world i have to say i mean uh the feedback that we get from people even novice crafters you know even myself when i've when yeah I've you've used blending, them haven't you they are so easy to use it's, it's unreal um, everybody says that it's you know like joe just said it's changed the way that they've crafted and there's no need to come in from the outside and you know take that kind of harsh bit of blending off you can just go straight in the middle bam That's two it. reasons you're not wasting any ink and also you're not having to you're not having to uh, you know use your brush to not actually blend because you're doing half of it off the page yeah um you know you, it's good for all kinds of um pressures you know joe's quite a heavy crafter she'll push down quite a lot you can see there she's got a finger and thumb um as she's blending but if you don't you can hold it further along it's got a flexible head on it um you know i think we were the first ones in the uk to bring this to tv yeah. to bring it to crate and craft and i don't know if if any of you watch crate and craft but you'll see there's all different variations on there now um you know it really has changed the way that people craft it has definitely and the rainbow ones omg i mean they are for want of a better word they are very sexy they are i mean this the this um leading up to tonight and doing this has been just a dream for me and that some of you um you know who i've watched from right from the early days will know just how much um this means to me because when I first found the blender brushes, I, I, like I say, because they helped me craft so much better and made it so much more enjoyable for me, I had to have them in the shop. But the dream was um, I wanted to get them in rainbow colours and I just could not get them anywhere. Um, nobody was doing them. Nobody was doing them in the numbers that I could afford because we're a small business, you know. It is just the two of us. And Ant, um, bless him, works full time as a firefighter as well. So he's, you know, can only help out as and when he's got some free time. So, um, you know, it, it's hard. We're, we're small. We've not got all the, you know, the money and the, the backing that a lot of big companies have got. So to be able to find um, products is, is tough. It's a challenge. So when I found the brush, the rainbow brushes, and then the, the spinner, 
um i said to Ant, we've just got to get them we've just whatever it takes we just need to get these um so it's taken it's probably been about 18 months in the planning i would say um from start to finish to get to this point where we've actually got them here um and available for you guys to buy um and yeah they are just they're everything that i hoped they would be <laughs> to be honest so um and the rainbow colours are particularly um, helpful um, from from my point of view and hopefully from your guys' point of view because then I can have one for each colour family and I know instinctively then which one I need to reach for depending on what I'm doing. I'm not searching through um, a dozen black handles to try and find the one that I need but they also work perfectly with our older brushes so um, our older range of brushes we did have the black handles and um, we've also got the medium size brushes um, that you'll have seen it works really it works perfectly with those and even the smallest brushes that we sell which are the the teeny tiny ones that are great for getting into detail um, it fits it fits those as well so you can use them for any of your any of the brushes any of your time fatigue brushes that you've got um so yeah <laughs> it is it's absolutely amazing it's so is. cool isn't it is it's so cool i love it so much okay. and you can just spin it and entertain yourself yeah you just get mesmerized <laughs> by it spinning, yeah. especially when you've got all like the different colors on there as well it just looks i mean it's, it's pimping out your craft desk isn't it, it is really? isn't it and I, it has got quite a decent amount of space actually in the middle if you wanted to use that to store anything as well so you can get like your washi tape or maybe your stickles or some of your pots of glitter in there you could store in the center as well if you wanted so it's quite handy you know for yeah, sorry for popping more things onto if you if you wanted to i like to keep mine clear um and obviously you know you don't want to spin it too fast and more come flying off but... yeah yeah we've not tested maximum speed <laughs> no we haven't have we well, it's, it's pretty robust to be fair i mean mm. it, it comes with instructions on how to put it together um and it's, it's pretty simple to be fair anyway i mean even i could do it so uh, <laughs> but on the on just for anybody that might have joined us a bit late in case you don't know we are doing um introductory limited offers up until midnight tonight um so the caddy that joe's just shown you by itself um it's 10 percent off you can get it for 19.75 i've stuck i've stuck the links in the comments but if anybody you know needs access to them and just message and i'll send them there directly um, but we're also doing um the caddy plus two full rainbow blender brusher collections um so you've got 10 all together uh, that's 20 percent off that one off the normal rrp and you're getting that for 57 pounds 50. um and to finish off we thought we'd throw in some stencils um 25 percent off all stencils that we've got in stock um, and Joe doesn't know this, but I will actually personally throw in a little mini cream egg as well. <laughs> oh, bless for anybody you. That <laughs> That's right, cute. That's very cute. You were like, what shall I put in? A cream egg. A little mini cream egg. <laughs> bless you. I hope that doesn't like melt a lot on the travels. Yeah. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'll tell you what, I'll change it. Anybody <laughs> that puts an order in from now until midnight, well, today until yeah. midnight, anybody that's ordered the new stuff. I'll put a pack of mini eggs in. Oh, that's very cute. Oh, at, at my own check you out. That's very generous. They're going to want you to come every week. Yeah, <laughs> you get free stuff. Get free chocolate. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you these because today we're, we're focusing on the stencils and we're focusing on the brushes, obviously, but we're going to make some cute cards. So um, I've already prepared um one of the little pigs from the hogs and kisses which is really really cute this little guy here so i've already colored him in and die cut him out so he's going to sit in our um sit on our card and then for our sentiment um i'm you might look at the state of this this has been well used um so this is our storms don't last um stamp set this is a really fun set because you can build your own uh, rainbow here um and uh, it's got the clouds and then it's got all the dies as well which you can use independently of the stamps um but it comes with this great sentiment the greater the storm the brighter the rainbow so i've used that and that sentiment itself does come with um 
the uh, the coordinating die that cuts that out. So that's really fun. Beth Mule is here from Illinois, United States. Hello there. Hi, Beth. <laughs> Hello, Beth. I'm um, so glad you could join us. Loads of comments to catch up on. If you, Sorry, if go you've ahead. Got a moment, Joe, just interrupt go, you there. Go ahead. Um, go ahead, Carla. Um, Where distress inks or distress oxide? Oh, um, well, if you, if you had a gun to your head, which one would you If I had a gun to my head, I would probably say oxides because I've got the majority of oxides. And the reason why I like the oxides is because of what we've just done here. So our background here looks awesome because those oxides are more opaque and they will layer on top of each other. Your distress inks won't do that. So they will just they will seep into the into the cardstock and you won't see them on darker cardstocks. So but it's like using a felt tip. Yeah, a little bit. If you were just if you were just using them for pure stamping purposes, the distress oxides aren't as good as the inks. Yeah. Um so it does depend on what you're using them for, but because I do a lot of ink blending with my coloured inks rather than stamping, then that's why I prefer the oxides cool if that makes sense i think quite a lot of people prefer the oxides but it's worth saying that the brushes do work with everything they do um, they also work with paint as well i've seen you use them with paint or watercolor yes yeah um, um i've done that before i've done that to do a little bit of ink splattering it's quite quite fun yeah i'm pretty sure you could also use them to put your foundation on <laughs> yeah you probably if could you wanted to this is gonna this is gonna send everybody mad because it's some holographic but i feel like that would look quite cool in the background there so we're gonna cut a piece of that lucinda looker says the brushes don't wear away the foam constantly needs replacing that's an awesome point and gradually add depth and all round so much fun much more forgiving yep big thumbs up that is an awesome point that's a really good point that um it is exactly right because i i've um you know used the foam the foam um ones and they do they crumble and they crumble onto your project which is not what you want you don't want bits of foam crumbling away onto your project of course not so um so yes, I'm just doing this a little bit off um, off screen just because it's so um, reflective and holographic that it messes with the light. Yeah, we can see a little bit in the corner, yeah. but yeah. I don't want to I don't want to blind everybody with it. So and I've got all my yeah. washi tape stuck to it. Julie, so I'm just popping this through the dicting machine. It might be a bit noisy, so apologies. Julie Hutchins good. says that you can use your non-dominant hand um, and get good results too. So it's good if people have having problems such as arthritis another excellent point oh i might not be over here just... <laughs> we're just um, struggling with space again. natalia asks and i have seen them in the washing machine uh, if anybody doesn't know this already my nickname is mr chores um, <laughs> she asks do you wash machine your microfiber cloth with conditioner i find once i do that sometimes they leave lint afterwards i've seen you wash them in the washing machine i've seen you wash them just with plain uh soapy water yeah. in the sink yeah. um, and then just left to dry so um if you are getting um, a bit of issues with the washing machine just use a bit of soapy water yep that's it just um hand hand wash them and let them air dry um your microfiber cloths but the, the same goes for your for your brushes actually while we're on that subject um right so i quite like that little bit of silver um framing that which i think looks really quite cool so i'm going to stick these together now i'm just going to move that up a little bit um jenny orchard has ordered the big bundle and one of the new stencils oh bless her thanks to me for my advice oh bless you, <laughs> bless you. it's an early birthday present the birthday is in april so i'll oh, say well, happy birthday yes. now for april time but do remind us closer yes definitely Let's remind us closer um, yeah. so we're just going to add that to um my holographic card there um now the um distress Ooh. oxides are still a bit wet so i'm getting them on my fingers so, so jenny's not the only one that's made a purchase of a limited uh caddy and blender Ooh. brush we are running those numbers down, so I don't know if, if people on the call or not, but like the same crate and craft, if it's in the basket, check it out. <laughs> the 
I'll check you out. out. You're looking for a job on creating craft, you aren't That's you? Right, you yeah. want in presenting the Dean what is Wilson, it? I'm coming crafting after man of the year. Dean Wilson, I'm coming. <laughs> Annalisa says that she loves the white bristles and rainbow coloured handles. Uh, and now the spinning caddy matches made in heaven. I can't stop spinning mine. <laughs> She's so cute, Annalisa, bless her. So um, many comments to catch up on. Oh, goodness. You're, what are you doing? Keep up. Come on. <laughs> Beth wants to know what bundle. Oh, Beth Mueller, you've, you've missed it. You missed it, Beth. Come on. Get with the programme fun. <laughs> and we'll tell you, fill you in. Um, I've, um, How big are the brushes, please? Can you put on screen the large, medium and small? Uh, but the, the rainbow ones that's included in the collection, they are the, the, large, the ones. large brushes. So um, these are the um, different sizes that are available. So this is the large, this is the medium, this is the this tiny. Um, so the large one, I believe, is around two and a half inches. Well, let's have it. Let's measure it for you. Well, Alison Chelsea's put in there six inches long by two inches fat. That's it. That's exactly right. Um, actually, it's on, on mine, it says it's an inch across, not two. I thought it was two. Um, but yes, it is six inches that way and it's just short of an inch that way so there you go and then the little one is about three quarters of an inch maybe it's two and a half centimeters yes not so yes two not and a half inches. centimeters not inches ah. that's what it is but it is six six just under six inches in um height and it is about half an inch in depth the medium one yeah. so but all of them have got um the same base which is why they all fit in the caddy so um it's, and like, it's like you actually thought about it yes that's it that's why it was it was important that we did that so that the, all of the brushes would fit we do have and this is a real exclusive for you we do have another size of brush coming out soon that will also fit in the in the caddy but the head size will be much larger. So if you are going to be um, ink blending a large area, it's going to be perfect for that. So um, we, we, you know, determined to, to keep on um, extending the range uh, because it's, it's like I say, it's something that I really, really do believe in. Um, and, uh, and I really, you know, a big, a big advocate of, and you know, I think it's important as a business that we bring to you things that that we love. You know, it's um, that's part of, you know, what we're trying to do here. Share a little bit of what we enjoy. I think, like, obviously, there are businesses out there that want to sell products, not just in the craft industry, but in in every industry, and you know they they want to just sell products whereas at time for tea we would never ever sell anything that we wouldn't use yeah i think that absolutely. makes it so much easier to get behind i mean i you know as much as joe is a crafter i'm behind absolutely everything i see everything i sign everything off before it goes to production i spell does. check everything he does. Um, <laughs> You know, and as soon as they yes, arrive, like I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing. The only issue that I have is thinking where we're going to store it. Yeah, we're going to put it all. My we initial do, thought yeah. when twelve boxes arrive is like, <laughs> wow. Where are we going to put and it? they're not little boxes. They're not just you know little tiny boxes, are they? <laughs> they've, they've um, yeah, that is fun though. But it is exciting. It, when these first turned up, honestly, I was just yeah, absolutely beside myself. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the, like you said earlier on, when you, you know, when you first got onto the blender brusher hype, the dream you said at that point was to bring rainbow coloured blender yeah. brushes and have some kind of storage device as well. Yeah. And, you know, um, you've got to dream it to believe it. You, well, that's it. You know, I did. I was, I've been so determined, haven't I? I've been like a, a dog with a bone and, I, I, you know, I'm sure and it's just like, just, you know, give it a rest sometimes but you yeah have, you have to be um never you just because you're, you're so passionate about it and you love it and i do 
that I makes do. it makes it all worth it it does and when you guys lo all love it too that makes it even more you know just rewarding because i know it's not just me <laughs> um so we've got our little pig now in the middle here who is very very cute and um i'm just gonna add just some little little last bits to uh, finish him off so you know i always do my little bit of um white jelly roll highlights um so we'll just add some of those and this is just a really quite a simple simple little card to make um and i think it just looks really really different I could also add some of. I need a little bit of uh, a little scrap of cardstock. I'm sure I've got one. Oh, here we go. I'm just test this on here. Um, yeah, because in our little um, our words here, they have a um, a nice open area which means you can colour them in. So you see, previously I coloured this one in and I didn't like, I didn't like the colours, but I thought that actually a little bit of silver sparkle. So this is the Jelly Roll pen in Clear Star. Just adds a really nice bit of the sparkle. And then um, for the last little finishing touch, we'll just add some sequins. Oh, I feel like I've gone a bit out of uh, focus there. My, my sticky on my quick sticks has gone. So I can't get any of my sequins out. Let's just empty a few out. Yeah, my sticky's gone. Annalisa says, we so appreciate your passion. Yes. Natalia says, what a cute card. Oh, thank you. Lou says, so adorable. Vicky Poulton loves the pig. The pig is very cute. I do love our pigs, I have to say. Uh, Lindsay Turner says, love it. Background looks fab. <laughs> uh, Laura Ann says, the white glaze pen is awesome. It is. It's a must have. It is a must have. If you haven't got one, then what are you waiting for? Uh, Julie Hutchins says, I feel I'm slightly addicted to time for tea. <laughs> and uh, Alison Chatter's replied saying, you are not alone. It's a good addiction. There's worse ones. Absolutely. There's much worse. Mega fan. I think that's what we'll call you, Julie, a mega fan. Yes. Super fan. Um, Lindsay Turner says, I didn't own a white or black glaze pen until I started watching you. Oh, you see, and then do you use them all the time? Because I do. Well, you see, you know I do. There isn't, I don't think there's, um, and again, this is why I stock them in the shop because you, I know that, you know, you're going to see me use it every single week and, you're, and then you're going to say, well, you know, why, why do you not stock that then? Because it is, it's something that is, I use constantly. So um, it just makes sense. So, um, so that's first card done and dusted. Boom, just like that. Boom. And I think that's really, really cool. I like him. So card number one, done. Uh, card number two um, is, um, I've done, again, I've done some prep, but not totally, um, because I'm going to do a little bit of a background using the tremendous um I think yeah I'm gonna use the tremendous so let me get a bit of cardstock and this I think this card of this um, stencil it's a little bit deceiving and that's why I want to do it a little bit differently because it says tremendous Christmas and but it doesn't have to be for Christmas just because they are uh, fir trees and I did want to all oh, like Christmas style looking trees but you don't have to use them for that purpose and I did just want to show you guys this I was considering using the some of these um, sentiments um, and I think I am going to use the background stamp as well but you've got the sentiments would you be mine you are tremendous I would be lost without you um, and thankful for you 
And I just think they're such cute little sentiments and they would be really, really cool with this. But I've come up with something a little bit different um, that you'll have to bear with me. Um, oh, and that was also a, an unintended pun that will make sense when I, uh, when I come to it. Right, colour scheme colour scheme I want to do something that is not necessarily tree related um but I think so we would no I didn't want to just do them green but I think there probably will be a little bit of green in there Beth Mueller says love love your little piggies yes they're very cute uh, what else was that yeah should we try um, we're keen on the comments tonight guys you keep can't you can't coming. keep up can hey. you can't keep up no. Uh, Keep him tested. Anisha says, uh, <laughs> this card is so adorable. Lucinda says, think this is the stamp set I ordered today, smiley face. Right, uh, will these go together? Yeah. Maybe. Claire Brumby, I get asked what I bought after every Thursday show. Wow. <laughs> do you? That's funny. Um, right, I'm going to do some dried marigold. Uh, first of all and I might have to pick a different yellow because I don't think my mustard seeds gonna work with this um, people but... I have been throwing in the links to all the products that Joe is using so I've, I've thrown in the the hogs and kisses stamp and die sets and also the tremendous stencil don't forget the stencils are 25% off um, up until midnight tonight so 25% off £4.95 Joe is I don't know. Oh, nice. You don't know. It's about. <laughs> it's about pound what? fifty. It's about what? About three pounds. I don't know. You don't. It's know. Less than four quid. You've not got a clue, have you? Maths is not my strong point. Not mine either. That's why we have calculators. I need a calculator. I'm gonna get some. All the stencils are four ninety five, aren't they? No, some of them are five fifty, hon. All oh, right, I'm lying then. <laughs> Yeah, some of them are a bit more because they they some of them are a bit more to manufacture. All right then. So the tremendous stencil is three pounds and seventy one pence. That's good price. That Angie says, "I love the play on words you use." Yes, it's pun central, isn't it? It is. It's it's hard sometimes to come up come up with them. Though I'll be honest, I do struggle with some of them. So that's when we have a little brainstorm session. Yeah, but ants' ones are always very rude. Yes, mine are always rude. I've been saying since we started that we should bring an 18 plus set out. You say that. But it's hard though, it's hard not to. It's hard not to be rude. It's where my mind goes to. <laughs> it is where your mind goes to, that is true. Laura Ann says, has anybody got any tips for colouring hair? Butterflies arrived today and I've been trying to play but can't get Bless the hair. You. Um, so I do have some tips for colouring hair. If it's COVID, um, yeah, it could be any number of colours. <laughs> that's true, and, and a number of styles. Yeah. Um, so um, I all I tend to go with um, darker hair colours um, when I'm colouring hair. That could be because obviously that is my natural hair colour, um, and I think a lot of the time you do you go for what you what you know, don't you? You know. Um, I suppose so you, you tend to make your characters look a little bit like you or the people you know um but um i think the other reason for that is that blonde hair is probably the most difficult to do so if you're trying to do blonde hair don't beat yourself up if you're struggling with it a little bit uh, because it is tough um so so yeah so i would start with maybe dark hair um a couple of shades around the um, E25, uh, E27, um, is there any, before an E20? Uh, yeah, E23, E23 I think it is, um, but those, around those, those numbers, off the top of my head, um, and that you will find that they're much easier um, is it, it was it Copic markers that you were using? Sorry, I, I, um, did I miss that bit? Uh, there was no mention on Copic markers, on, it was Sorry. just the colours. The colours. And, so, and how to do it, I think, rather than... So if you, and is it alcohol markers that, um, that are being used, do we know? If it's alcohol markers that you're using, um, I would suggest that maybe the tri-blend markers that we have in the shop, um, 
because they 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 basically take all the guesswork out of the colors that you need to use because they're all in one pen and you just, I, I start with the lightest shade and i try and keep the lightest bit of by the crown of the head because that's where the light would hit the top of your head um oh look at that that's cute isn't it so and that that's just you know really simply the a basic rule of thumb to follow but i am intending on doing some coloring workshops um moving forward i've got one planned for the end of this month which will probably be um for critters because that's what we sell most of in the shop but i know that there have been a lot of requests for people um and coloring people so um i will also get that planned in as well oh let me just clean my stencil while i'm thinking about it keep your stencils clean and they will um look after you mine has been very, abused. very used and abused so it's still got some texture paste on it which is why it's very glittery and some of that glitter does keep coming off every now and again which is not good so i don't suggest that you do that if you're using any texture paste wash it immediately um under the tap immediately immediately stop what you're doing immediately that yeah that is no lie stop what you're doing immediately no lie so i'm using this silicon mat at the moment as well i don't have to keep changing mats so this is something that again that is is new that i'm trying out and um we may may get in the shop depending on um you know how it goes but i'm liking it so far it is quite useful um it's easy to clean which is always a bonus harry wants to tell you that he has made seven cars today with julie stash wow that's Big up awesome. yourself, Harry. I did see um, the crafty, uh, shall we say, the crafty um, mess, no, carnage. <laughs> it, it looked beautiful. It looked like crafter's heaven. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. You can't, you can't craft without making a mess. Absolutely not. Um, Angie's husband recognize that the images on his valentine's card were from oh that's very cute oh it. i'm gonna knock you over again we've sorry. got a secret fan <laughs> he knows it he knows where it's from that's awesome um beth mueller asks how much do i save in the united states on brush caddy bundle so well the, the saving it's 20 is, yeah. off the saving that's right it's, so it is 20 percent in dollars yeah the saving will be the same um yeah it but it i think the difference that you will have is um possibly in your shipping situation hon so i don't know what to suggest i've had a couple of queries about shipping um outside of the uk mm -hmm. which we do do but since brexit um has come along it has caused quite a bit of controversy for my card um i'm thinking at the moment it's probably going to be a white top folding a6 card where are you my top folding a6 cards there you are um so i have just trimmed this down um so that there will be a little bit of a border but we may trim it down a little bit more i don't know yet but i feel like that's a nice sufficient border and i'm going to use our little pandas um because i've not used him for ages and i used them on a card for my mom and dad the other day and the thing that i love about the panda is that he's so easy to color <laughs> because he is just black and white basically and i've just added a little bit of shading some little pink cheeks and Bob's your uncle is done. So um, I have um, sorted out a little bit of a sentiment that I've already cut out um, and I wasn't sure quite what colour scheme we were going for and this wasn't really the colour scheme that I was intending um, so I don't know how it came out this colour but it did. 
So you can see I've got all of these letters here that I've cut out of different shades. The pink is not going to work now, so I think we're going to have to go with the black. Um, but the, the idea behind this was that our little, little panda here, um, I'd used the, uh, where are they? I've used so many diff different products and this, the great thing about this is that you can mix and match all of your products so well. So I've got the new paper hugs and the new big hugs uh, die sets. Um, and I figured out that with the letters that I've got, I can spell out the, the words bear hugs. So I'm going to be sending... You're getting bear hugs, bro. Yeah, I'm going to be sending some bear hugs, which I thought was really quite a fun thing to do. So I've already um, laid up a couple of these. So I've already die cut them and laid them up. So now I'm just going to just add them to the bottom of here and just see where they will fit. You could also spell bear, B-A-R-E hugs if you want to send a slightly oh, if naughty you wanted to card. send a naughty one which is obviously what you would sending want to do bear hugs. sending bear hugs so i've already uh, stamped um and uh, heat embossed my sentiment here this is from the happy mail uh, set the new happy mail set so it has the sentiment sending um because it's uh, one of the sentiments other sentiments is paper hugs so so we've got the sending, we've got the bear hugs. So um, I did, like I said, I'd already cut this out in pink, but the pink is too pink now. Um, so, but I don't know whether the black might be a bit too black. So let's, let's have a look. Um, although it does obviously go with our little bear because he's black and white, isn't he? Which is kind of cool. So, I think it makes for a really nice bold and dramatic sentiment so let's just stack these up and let's see what we think before we commit to it Rosie's come to the window got a little visitor and oh, that's very cute I quite like that so let's move these out of the bay we don't need those <laughs> bless her and then we've got our little sending um, bear hugs so that could sit in the middle um, or it could sit on the, the side um, or I don't know whether now just doing it black on white might look good so we can see we'll come to that in a moment because I need to cut that out don't I so what do we think? Do we like the black? I think the black looks good. Stands out, doesn't it? I agree, Sarah. I think we're on it with the black, aren't we? Pandemonium party. Yes, that's We the are one. sold out of that stamp set for anybody that might be interested. Oh, are we? I thought we had yeah. a couple of those left. Oh, it might be worth checking because I think we did. I think I had a few back in stock, but I may be wrong. No, nope. we're out of stock, huh? We got the dies, but no stamps. We might have to check in the back if that's uh, that's still checking the, the case. back. Checking the back, man. Checking the back. So, um, right. Let's uh, add some foam tape to this because I know that this is the background that we're doing. So I'm going to add some of my foam tape to the back of this and add a bit of dimension there. tape there so like I say these are we're going for quick and easy simple simple backgrounds simple cards that you can put together really nice and quickly um, and the, the great thing is because I know a lot of you Julie Hutchins being one of them you color um, you stamp color die cut um, loads of your images and have them ready to go so then all you need to do is create your backgrounds and um add your sentiment and you're good to go see there's all glitter now from from my poorly managed 
situation. So I'm going to add these to, um, let's pop that to one side because I'm going to get glue on it if I'm not careful. But let's add these to the top of this. We haven't got any of the pandas. I'm sorry, guys. We will get the pandas back in though because they are super popular. Um, I did think we'd got some back in stock, um, no. but we must have sold them all again. That's... Yeah, I know we restocked them. Yeah. Thanks for checking, hun. They're um, they are the one of our most popular sets. So. Um... They're so cute. And because the bears as well, they are, you can use them in so many different ways. So you can. And I guess the other thing is, is that, you know, if we've sold out of them, then that means that there's probably a lot of you that have already got them. Yes. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so this is another way of using one of your sets that you might have already got in your stash. Alison Pendlebury Brown Hello says, there. would the sending strip fit in between the panda's arms so it looks like he's holding oh my it. god what a cute idea is that i love that idea alison yes let's try it what a good idea that's <laughs> very clever i feel like i want to do it on a colored piece of cardstock though if that's the case but let's see um we have got what have we got a few comments on the foam tape so i'm just going to stick in the link in there right here yes. the comments so the thick foam tape the the wider foam tape um we don't stock that but i would love to stock that um it is my favorite for the thicker the the foam roll that we do have in stock is the thinner version of the one that i've that the one that you've seen me use just now um, so it's the same quality it's absolutely fantastic um, the best foam tape that I've ever used and I've used a lot of foam tape let me tell you um, in my time I've used a lot I have used tape, a lot let me, let me tell you I have used a lot so um so yeah it is fantastic so if i could get if i can get the other in stock at a reasonable price i think that's the thing is that it's it because it, there is 40 meters um of the thinner roll tape i think it's i think it's half that size maybe 20 meters of the the larger but it's um it's fantastic and it lasts it lasts for so long i mean i've had this for ages and it's not showing any signs of running out just yet. Quick question. Hello. Beth Mueller. Hello, I think I know the answer to this, but you're the expert. Oh, I don't know about that. If we use the brushes for regular ink, like mm -hmm. regular distress, yes. can you use the brushes for oxides too? I would suggest that you keep them separate if you can. And I know that's difficult because that means then you've got to buy a different brush for every different ink. Um, if you do want to use them for different um, types of ink, I haven't um, really put it to the test, um, but I would say just give it, a, make sure you give it a really, really good clean in between. That would be my, that would be my suggestion. If you do, if you need to do it. Um, we, we have said before to clean your blender brushes when you're just using the same sort of ink, all you need is a microfiber cloth just rub all the excess ink off obviously the bristles are white so they will be stained with that particular ink group but if you're using them for all greens or yellows or reds blues whatever you just need to wipe the excess off if you're going to it, say if you've been hammering them, hammering them for a while you can wash them with just warm water and that will take maybe even a little bit more off but there's no need to be washing them after every single no. use just give them a wipe ready to go i've the only one that i've washed in the whole time that i've been using them and i've been using them for like i said probably about 18 months and it was one that i took to a craft show and it had been used um by um, it's been used by people to, you know, just by um, 
customers, passers by, coming to try them out. So it got really excessively full of ink. Um, to the point where I thought actually um, it probably needed a bit of a refresh. Um, but that was just because it had, be, it had gone through some unusual use. Um, rather than it, uh, you know, you just your normal standard everyday use. Um, and like I say, I don't use anything else and I ink blend pretty much on every single project, which you know you've seen me do. Oh, I like this. This is cute. I feel like you might need a colourful banner though now, but I shall um, try the black first. <laughs> Sorry, fun. Claire Brumby says that although we don't have the pandas, we do have the sloths. We do. Um, so I've just banged in the sloths there in the comments for this, anybody that might be interested in. They are extremely adorable. That Lindsay is Turner's cute. just bought them. Absolutely love them. I do think I want to do it on the green. Um, Anne Hodgkinson has joined us. She says, loving the cards. Hello, Anne, and welcome Hello, to the Anne. Facebook Live. So I'm going to do this on a bit of coloured cardstock and I'm thinking maybe the green but also I like this colour but I don't really have any cardstock but that's, that's not colour. Lucy Dye says love your thin foam roll. <laughs> <laughs> Can Love you not speak? Thin of foam roll. Foam roll. It's huge and super. It is huge and super. Like me. Like a superhero. It's a superhero of tapes. Right. I'm going to just do a little bit Alison of Pendlebury something. Pendlebury Bound says she would be interested in a girthier one. Yes, I think so. Um, it's definitely the way forward. It is great quality. Um. Because for some projects, you know, you're going to need a, 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 a you know, a wider bit of tape um, to cover the back of your backgrounds. But the the reason that I went for the thinner one was obviously because of price was the main was probably the main factor for you guys. Um, but also um, for the fact that um, you're going to be able to use it on a lot of other different projects. So for doing your um, shaker cards and for adding your critters to things um, you know it's going to be great for all of those things as well so it's got a lot of a, you'll get a lot of use out of out of the thin roll tape definitely and it lasts forever it's massive it's huge isn't it um, julie hutchins says didn't think i needed the tremendous stencil but you've made me realize i was wrong <laughs> what we'll do julie is if you just put that order in or whatever we will Refund you will refund your any shipping, shipping yes. And just absolutely. put it on your previous order. Yeah, absolutely. Because you were the first one to order today. Super fan. So I'm just adding um, that with some embossing ink. And I'm going to get a bit of scratch paper. Where is all my scratch paper? Just so that I've got something to tip my embossing powder onto. Um, I'm using a new embossing powder that I will be popping in the shop shortly. Um, this is um, Sweet Dixie um, embossing powder. <laughs> oh, she's trying to come in. Um, and it's, it's super fine. So it's great for doing your sentiments. I love the WOW embossing powder. It's really, uh, you know, I still use that. But this is ultra fine. So... Um, it's definitely something to use for your sentiments. So I'm just going to set this with my heat tool, which is going to make a bit of a noise. So bear with. <laughs> bear with. Do you like what I did there? Bear. Bear with. with. <laughs> um, so let's get this set. Hoping you can see that. Yeah, we can see it coming through, hon. So it is on a pale, pi a pale pink. No, it's not. It's on a pale yellow. What's wrong with me? Um, but I'm going to once that's dried off a little, I'm going to add a bit of colour to it. So just hang fire. And the reason that I'm doing it this way is because um, distress oxide inks are very slow to dry so if you are um, going to be applying any embossing ink to them um, it's likely that your embossing powder will stick to the whole 
thing that you've inked um, unless you leave it for a good few hours to dry naturally um, or you spend a good deal of time setting it with the heat tool first so that is just something to bear in mind so I think we'll do are you all right there You're hopping about do you need a break I may need a little break okay then you go have a break okay um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of the scattered straw let's have a look at our I think I might go in with the dried marigold you know and just just give that a little bit of cut bit more color a bit more depth of color um and i just think that'll look a little bit um just add a bit of pop of col pop of color <laughs> Blah, i can't speak pop of color in between his little paws allison that was an just an inspired idea i loved it um, I love it when we can, we can, um, you know, when this is what's great about this is because you guys can really, you know, get involved and we can share ideas. And as always, I have kind of a, an idea of what I'm doing, but it's only, I mean, this is probably the most prepped that I've ever been. <laughs> um, so, you know me, normally I'm just on a wing and a prayer. Are we still filming? Yes, we are. My um, my iPad had frozen on me a little bit there, so it looked like I wasn't, I wasn't here, but I am. We're back in the room. We're back in the room. See, Aunt leaves me for a second, and it all falls apart. I'm back. You're back. Awesome. Just my um, iPad's frozen, so I can't see anything. So I thought maybe I'd stopped filming, but I think I'm still going, aren't I? Anyway, everything's good. Uh, <laughs> Natalia's never met me. She knows me so well already. What's she saying? She says, what? He means he, he needs chocolate. Oh, yeah, exactly. I've come prepared and have chocolate with me. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's definitely a chocolate evening. Jenny Orchard says, I'm trying to keep my eyes open as I've been awake since 6 a.m. Oh, good oh, Lord. Oh, Jenny, get them matchsticks out. You don't, <laughs> miss, you don't want to miss the rest of this. We're no. not very much longer now. No. Um, Aunt won't, won't hear any of it. Joe promised me <laughs> I promised him. So any yeah. longer than that, and I'm just cutting off. Oh, yeah. Are you just going to cut us off? <laughs> I've got another card to make. Have you? You best pull your finger out. Then. <laughs> I know. I'm not doing very well, am I? I'm doing quite well though. I was saying that this is probably the most organised I've been in most white prep. Yeah, definitely. A bit. I feel like my sandwich moved. No, it didn't. It's all right. Don't panic. Sorry about the noise, everyone. Apologies for the noise. Natalia also says, "What cool idea, Joe? Never thought of that before." Which one? Which idea? <laughs> Which I did I have? Done something different with the sentiment strip. Well, this was this was not my idea. This is Alison's idea, oh, yeah. isn't it? So. I don't know what to do but with but I don't know. There. I've just well, I've used the um, the cardstock, um, and then gone over that with the um, embossing ink. And oh look, that looks so cute. <gasps> yes. And then um, added the distress ink over the top just to add a little bit of colour to it and then Alison's suggestion was to put it in his arms and I think that's yeah, so that. cute isn't that it's adorable it's like he's holding like a bit of palette wood or something it's so cute right so I'm going to add that to to his paws I love it this is so cute this might be my favorite lots and lots of interaction tonight it's thank very, you so much great. guys i'm so so pleased i've been um, looking forward to getting involved this week because obviously i've not been on for a while you haven't, have you? either busy or Ooh. working or asleep so <laughs> busy it's, working um, or asleep it's good to get involved again yeah and um, i think it's really it, we're really pleased that you've been able to join us cause... well I'll speak on behalf of everyone else i know yeah. well i think they are though yeah. i think it, they've yeah. all been they've all they, everybody always asks about you so Angelique is Deep Simon Lord. still on the uh, the call by the way I know it was I know it was in it was on earlier 
Mm. But he normally has a joke for us. But yeah, I've not had a Simon joke, actually. I've not had a Simon joke. Um, which, you know, we do like a Simon joke. Right, so I'm Again. going to try my best to get these lined up. Um, but I feel mm. because there's not a lot of room, you see, at either end. So I'm going to start with normally I would start from the middle and work my way out. But because um, I uh, haven't got a lot of room at either side, I know that I can only leave maybe a millimeter or two at the edges. So I am going to work my way from the out in, which is not the usual way of doing it. So if you are going to be doing um, lining up your letters in the future, I would suggest you work from the centre out to make sure that you're not going to, you know, you're going to get it, get your sentiment properly aligned. Um, and you're not going to end up with it, um, you know, just a little bit off centre and a bit askew. Um, but really, there's nowhere for this to go other than where it's going. Where is the bear hugs? Um... Where's the sentiment from? It doesn't come with oh. the pandemonium, does it? The, sorry, which sent the, the this big hugs. sentiment? Yeah. So sorry, did you miss you missed that bit? I did. Yes. So um it, that G a bit down. I know, I'm pushing it up. Uh, it's up now. Mm. It's up now. I did. I mean, it was spirit me, me um miss my, my T square ruler move. So it was a combination of the big hugs and the paper hugs. Oh right. Um and the the letters in there yeah. spell out bear hugs as well as paper hugs and big hugs. Oh, yeah, see yeah. what I mean? By putting yeah, them together. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. I did that with my own brain and everything. Wow. I know. Are you okay? Do you need to sit down? I probably do, yes. I probably do. I'll have to rest it. I have to rest my mind. That's now. it for the rest of the week now, guys. Yeah, there will be no more thinking. <laughs> There's been quite a lot of thinking going on lately. I've been thinking. So I've there is also um, a lot of designing been going on as well, because there are new sets coming up soon as well. Oh, that I'll, tell we, you, I'll tell you what, you're in for a treat. You are in for we a treat. You are in for a treat. <laughs> so we're releasing, um, obviously, this, um, you know, the caddy and so on. But we will also be having um, a product uh, a stamp and die release a mini one next weekend so which is also really super exciting so for this one i am going to start in the center and work my way out so my center point is going to be the center of my hugs so my e is going to go here um, but i'm going to try and keep the tops of them you know lined up that's my theory. We'll see if that works out. Liz Hughes says, so. Oh no, that's too high up. Sorry, I am going to move him down. I um, just interrupted my. <laughs> sorry, so. I do apologize. Wow. I am going to have to move him down. Now, I've used um, glue that dries clear, so um, so it's fine. It is fine. And my B obviously is going to be a little bit um, higher up because it's a, a larger letter. Sorry I had to interrupt that by just having an emergency. No, it's alright, you've ruined it. <laughs> I've ruined it, I do apologise. Do Does anyone else do that as well? You know, like when, you, when your partner's... Oh, here we go. You know, like you should never interrupt here your partner go. when he's mid-rap or mid-song. <laughs> Does anybody else think that Ant's too old to be mid-rap at any time in his life? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, well, we shall see. Angie lost a gram yesterday. Oh, sorry to Angie, hear that, Angie. I, I did see that and I'm so sorry. That is, that is awful. Um, but she did say that she's been looking forward to it as she always does, but more so tonight because oh. she lost the grand yesterday. Yeah, she, you need something to just take your mind off things a little bit, don't you? Sending you some crafty hugs. Well, yeah, some crafty bear hugs. So, that's I think that's quite well lined up for me. 
Um, so you know that I am renowned for being on the wonk. So now I'm going to pop this guy up on a little bit of foam tape. I've lost all picture over here. I can't see anything that's going on. I can't see any comments. So if I go off um, off piste, then I do apologise. Can't you just reset it? Yeah, we'll have to do. I'm just in the middle of something here, hon. <laughs> You've made me all dark. <laughs> You've cast a shadow over Have the I? proceedings. Oh, sorry. I'm a big snap. <laughs> I'll sort it, you're alright. I just need to come out of it and go back into it, I think. Turn it off, turn it back on again. Yeah. So um trim that down it's a bit too much there. I know you're in control anyway. You know what's what's going on in the world. You can tell me kind of. what everybody's up to, can't you? Let's go out and go back in again. So Louise Baker says, that's cool. <laughs> so. Zilmara Rivera. Oh, yes. I never know if I pronounce it. Many apologies it. if that's not correct. But she says that it's so cute with the love heart eyes. Love heart eyes. Angelique de Groot says loved it too with all the letters wonky though oh no i put like, a smudge she liked some wonk, more wonky oh did you <laughs> yeah adds a bit of character a bit of wonkiness i feel and annalisa says that looks so good in his paws it's a really good idea i'm so in love with it um now i've added a smudge because i've got very inky fingers so um i'm just gonna try my little mono eraser to just try and remove some of that. Where's the smudge? Just there on his little on his little sign. You can you can bet you but, can't really see it. But you the, can't really uh... see it. So hopefully that'll just we'll pretend that's not there. Um so awesome. Loving it. It's very cute. So I think let me see what have I got here. Um, no, I think they might be a bit too bright. So I'm thinking maybe that the gold, the, not the gold, the clear sequins might be a good addition because sequins are always a good plan. Um, but we don't want them to be too in your face. So I think just one or two. Jessica Farrar has ordered Hello. the caddy. Can't wait for it to arrive. Hey. Some stamps. Some stencils might have slipped into <laughs> the basket. Just also, you know, like a they do. Quick, quick update on numbers, shall we? Yes. yes. That's yeah. That's kind of cute. Takes us takes us through our little journey there. So when I'm lining up my my sequins, I try and follow a journey from the top of the card to the bottom um, and try and keep them quite close to um, whatever image or sentiment um, I'm using so that they're relevant um, to it. So rather than too, too um, widely separated, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, just a note as well. Hello, um, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Um, anybody that does have or use any of our products, number one, we do have a Facebook friends page. Oh yes. Um, go to our Facebook page and have a look for the friends page. I think you have to send a request. Yes, um, you do. And then I'll have a look at your profile, and as long as it's not a weird deal, you'll get, <laughs> you'll get in. Like no, I'm joking. We don't really have that much of a process. You send a request, we say yes. Um, and number two, make sure that you tag us in on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, whatever you might use, because it's always good to see, you know, what ideas you come up with. Obviously, Joe is the designer, but she doesn't always get time to have a play. No. So it's really interesting. Like like tonight, for example, Alison suggesting to put the sending, you know, in his paws. Love that idea. Um, it's always good to see what ideas everyone else yeah, has. Absolutely. The good thing about crafting is that there is no right one way to No, work. that's it. There's everybody's, everybody's interpretation. Yeah, everybody's got their own way of doing things, haven't they? 
so I've got a quick can we do a quick one quick one more quick one double quick one double quick time so I'm going to use um, this stencil here let's have a look might as well remind people that we do have offers on until midnight tonight <laughs> um, spinning caddy should be 21.95 save yourself 10% 1975 or you can get the caddy itself plus two <laughs> rainbow blender brush yeah, collections yes, so 10 brushes in total oh. for 57 pounds 50 that's a saving of 20 percent um, and all stencils that we have in stock are 25 percent off we've already worked it out if it's a four pound 95 stencil it'll cost you three pounds 71 and um, you might as well oh, just okay. throw a couple of them in as well take it over oh, the okay. free shipping amount which is uh, 60 pounds 60 pounds there Indeed. you go so if you buy the collection the caddy and the two rainbow um blender brush collections plus a stencil you got yourself free shipping plus i also said at the beginning of the call anybody who has put an order in today up until midnight oh, yeah. i will provide you with a bag of mini eggs we're holding you to that for sure of course and as usual you'll always get a Yorkshire tea tea bag in there oh yes yeah don't forget that right so I am using the what is it called now pour some pattern pour some pattern stencil yes this is great for anybody who's got pets cats yes. dogs not use this for ages. ages 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 and i do like it very very much lou rivieri says i have to go but we'll catch up at the end tomorrow thank you for tonight and have fun thanks lou yeah thank you thanks so for joining much. us sleep well and catch you tomorrow so this is very very cool jenny orchard says she's looking forward to a mini eggs <laughs> <laughs> definitely started a thing there haven't you so i am mixing inks here um for anybody that's um get that asked earlier um so i'm using a distress ink in the kitsch flamingo so this is the new shade from tim holt which is just awesome it does react a little bit differently so i am using a different brush um because uh, it is a different ink type um, but it blends really really nicely um, so I don't I don't have any issue using them together in a project um, particularly when you're doing something like this where you're going to be um, you've got um, you're not doing a whole um, background if you like you're just pulling out bits of um, detail so I'm just Kitch. it's um, right. K-I-T-S-C-H that's not even a word <laughs> it's really quite mean? hard to say actually Kitch. Kitsch. Yeah, what does that even kitsch. mean? It's like kooky, isn't it? No, I've never heard of it. You've never heard of kooky? Of kitsch. It's like quirky. I yeah. suppose you would say it was quirky. Quirky. Quirky, quirky like you. Julie quirky. Hutchins loves it. Um, Alison Pemblebury Brown says it's a very nice pink. pink it's a lovely it? pink. It is actually flamingo pink. It is what it is. It is what it says it is. <laughs> which you know they just tend to name things very very well i need somebody to come up with good good color names for me so there we have that i mean that just looks amazing 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 i love it i love Sarah it Sarah louise baker says she used it for a granddaughter for a valentine's card that she gave her she's only four and she loved oh, so cute loved so cute right so i'm thinking what i'm gonna do with this um <laughs> which might be quite cool yeah i think alice is right quirky flamingos not quite got them no it's not the, yeah it's, it. this is what i mean he's very he's very good at coming up with his names what do nice I do one tim with all my other bits and bobs 
That's pretty done. Jessica Brumby volunteer, has volunteered to name your colours for you. Yes, right. Excellent. So this one, this one's going to be pretty cool, I think. I think I might make this a square. Or shall I make it? Yeah, I'm going to make it a square because... Um, because I want a little heart in the middle of it. So a square is going to work, I think. So where are my square card like? I've got like the giant ones. Where's my little ones? It's too big. That's too big. I don't want that one. I've got my um my five five inch ones. So bear with me. Um I should be Uno Momento, as I believe. They are here. Yes, that's what we want. Thankfully, because we're in a small space, nothing is too far away. <laughs> so it's quite handy. Okay, so I think, oh yeah, I think that's very, very pretty. So I'm going to get my um, square nesting dies. And then I think possibly that one's going to be just a bit too big because that's almost the size of the um, actual card blank. But I don't want to cut down too much of my pattern here because it's really pretty. Um, so I might, I might just have to trim this one, which is unfortunate. So I like the stitching detail, but I haven't quite got the size that I need there. Um, because we're also going to cut out a little heart. So let's have a look at what size heart I want. Yes, I think that size heart is going to be just right. So. It's going to be quite a large heart, really, that's coming out of the centre. So, just doing a bit of talking to myself there. Let's get my um, trimmer. My tonic trimmer, which if you guys um, haven't seen these, used one, got one, um, I would 100% recommend them. Best trimmer that I've ever owned. So, let's best trimmer ever it is and it the you know it's um self sharpening if that's a word um because so it sharpens itself by itself by itself wow. yes because every time you use it it's sharp it's sharpening yeah every time you trim we could do with that with the axes at work <laughs> yeah. Much easier than having to. Uh, do you have to sharpen the axes? Sharpen them and oil them, yeah. Really, do you? Yeah. We well, want them to do a proper job, don't we? Well, of course you do. Shopping down doors. So. Uh, Claire Brumby says, "I drink tea when my time for tea tea bag arrives." Oh, that's very cute. Good old Yorkshire tea. So you see now that we've got that trimmed to the length. Um, because it's so. already shorter than our card so now i just need to take maybe um a couple of mils off each side five mil off each side and that'll make it a nice square julie hutchins got that trimmer after your recommendation says it's amazing it is really good isn't it i'm and not just i'm not just making these things up angelique <laughs> the group Guys, I have to go now. Love you and leave you. We'll catch you up tomorrow, though. Night, night. Thank you so much for joining us. I feel like this is on. Good this evening, sleep. <laughs> that was sounds like that was very formal. Was it? Like a formal announcement. Good evening, sleep well. Don't have nightmares. You know, like they used to do on. Um, oh, crime watch. Crime watch, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I just closed the Mega scary people, but don't have nightmares. Yeah, yes. This killer is still on the loose, but don't have nightmares. <laughs> Jenny's still with us. Bless you. So I've got my little my little crafty cat here, and my little sending crafty hugs. 
so again this is just going to be a really nice cute simple card so i just need to figure out where i want my heart anybody else's five minute makes turn into like 25 minute makes <laughs> yeah mine always do don't they five minute makes with joe david you should see the amount of prep she puts in for the the tv oh, you know there's God. only like 10 minutes demonstrating or something and it's like it's blue peter on steroids yeah it's it what is. i did earlier i'm gonna do this but i'm not I'm gonna, i've already done it four times yeah. in various different stages it feels very like the 45 minutes uh i understand from a business point of view why they're doing it, it means you get to put more shows on yes but as um as a business going on it puts a bit of pressure on doesn't it to get your full product out there Absolutely. i think a little bit like the the story part of it has almost just been done away with now yeah they don't really have a lot of time to to chat with you what am i doing and grant, um, granted we're not going on there for, wait. for a chat you know? <laughs> sorry hun. that's what these crafting lives are for but at the same time it's what connects you to the audience isn't it? it's your story well, that's what it. is your what is your story anyway stop Joe? it how did stop, you get into crafting stop it everybody knows that i got into crafting you're only doing it because you want me to say what you just because you're just taking the mickey out of me so um now see this little heart that i've cut out here i'm just ignoring Aunt now this little this little heart that is so cute you could definitely use that for something else Um, i've got a few like ones that i've already stenciled and cut out for others that i just think would be so cute together um so just just keep hold of your waist don't don't get rid of it Laura Ann says there's no such thing as a quick make. There Natalia, isn't. a five minute make is something, and also this, yeah, it's, a, <sighs> it's something that you make in five minutes. <laughs> uh, Liz Hughes says all of my makes are about two hours. Yes, exactly. It is um, very difficult to do because once you get going and you get started, you think, oh, I could do that. Oh, but what if I did that? And what if I did that? so one thing one idea can lead to a dozen others you can have a quick hour plus it doesn't Four always hours. quite work out how you thought it was going to do um you know things go wrong uh, things go right you know things that you go you have a an unexpected happy accident um and then that leads you to do something else that you weren't intending to do so you know it's but that's that's the fun of it but it is nice to have some some quick makes in that you know that um you can do that you can like refer back to if you need to make somebody a card in a hurry um or if you need to um you have only got a few minutes to craft in um you know sometimes we'd love to have three hours of crafting time but you might have only got half an hour until you know teas need making washing needs doing you know real life adulting. kicks in yeah adulting basically now i have got a, a i was going to pop him in the middle there and have the little sentiment Man. Which I think would be very, very cute. But I also feel that making this into a shaker card would be cute. But I've already added all my thing. Well, that's fine. I can still make it work. I can still make it work. I've got some acetate here. Lauren says she likes the look of the mat you are using. So this, yeah, this is this is an interesting product that I'm hoping that I might be able to get in the shop. Um, that I'm testing out. Um, it's a really nice size a convenient size it's silicon so it means that um that you can do a lot of different techniques on it um so i know i've seen some people doing mirroring techniques and so on on silicon mats um i like it because it's it's a funky color and um, a lot of the ones that are on the market are um white and they stain so this one is obviously because it's a, a bit of a deeper colour, isn't going to stain as much. Um, so yeah, I feel like um, this could be a winner. I'm going to try and prize up this, this bit of um, tape. This is pretty sticky. So I'm going to be very, very careful when don't I do it. Don't rip it. I know, I don't want to rip it but 
feel like I'm going to have to just make the adjustment so that my tape, my acetate can fit on. And I'm just going to add a bit of glue around the edges and then slot my acetate in the middle there in the gap. And under there. And then pop that back on top. Yeah, that worked. So now we have an acetate front, a little window. And this is a nice thick um, foam. So it does mean that um, you can get some embellishments in there. So now I need to just pick my embellishments. Let's see what I've got. I've got some pink ones here that are... That matched the flamingo colour perfectly. Natalie says, we are holding our breath. Don't hold it too <laughs> I know, well. I was holding my breath then, I must admit. I think we I think we fixed it, we sorted it. Death by holding breath. <laughs> so, these are um, some little embellishments that I got from Twiddler's Nook and I think they're going to go really nicely because they're a lovely bright pink. Um, so before I pop them into the well, so to speak, I need to make sure that this is all closed off. Otherwise, they're all going to just go everywhere. So um, I'm going to fill in the gaps because this was, this is what Ant was exactly what you were saying, Anthony. What's that? That you know my five minute make has ended up being much longer because I've changed my mind about yeah. what I'm doing. So. Um, it means that I've just got a few adjustments to make to fill in these gaps, you see. But that's easily rectified with a few strategically placed bits of foam tape that will prevent any spillages. So all you're going to do now is once you've seared all the gaps, you're going to throw those... Um bits then yep. star things in the middle there and yep. then just put the an extra bit of card on top so take all the sticky off stick it on together and you've got yourself a shaker card yeah was it basically i feel like that's too small excelente but i think it will work yeah that'll work excelente senorita yeah and because Medium. these are very thin um embellishments they're not chunky embellishments then um they should move around quite nicely yeah another good uh, tip to do is um either pop a brush into um what you hold your um anti-static powder bag in or if you've got a little dispenser like this just go around the edges of your foam tape so that your embellishments don't stick on the inside and then let's add uh, yeah anti-static very good very good add some some of your embellishments embellishments embellishments, embellishments. sequins or confetti do you think that's enough that looks like a good amount doesn't it yeah. you want to be able to see them don't you you don't want to be able to be have to be searching for them Mihaela says this really helps hope i pronounce that right i know we're not very good at, pron at pronunciations are we although ant does claim to be multilingual <laughs> <laughs> i keep trying to learn spanish but then but then what but then i, that's not, <laughs> but I then don't stick at it long enough no i could just use a piece of white cardstock actually on the back of that I was going to put some uh, acetate on the back of it, which would yeah, just take a bit of white card. But it's got a white background anyway, hasn't it? So, mm. so I could just cut a piece of this, and this is just cheaper white cardstock. And then I can actually just add glue to the back of that. Oh, yeah! Look, I got a shaker. Oh my god, that's really cute very pleased okay so now we've added that little um bit on the back all i need to do is just add 
So right. we've had quite a few orders during the oh, Facebook Oh, thank live. you everybody so much. And thank you everybody who's watched and is still with us, still watching. Uh, just a prompt that if, you, if you've if you not checked out your basket yet, make sure you check it out. We don't, wouldn't want you to miss out on the offers that we've got. Again, they are on until midnight in the UK. So that's another two and a bit hours. Um, after that, they'll be returning to their regular retail price um, again that's 25 percent off all stencils the collection which is the caddy and the two packs of rainbow brushes is 57 pounds 50 so one of them and a stencil gets you free shipping in the uk um, and you've spent about 60 pounds and the caddy itself 10 percent off at 19.75 um, these will be taken to tv at some point yes but they will. you've got exclusive exclusive offers now yes that's exactly right so i'm just using the be kind be you or be you be can be can be you that's the right way around isn't it so yeah be can be you the coordinating dies are great because it's got lots of different sized sentiment dies. So um, you're sure to find one. What's that one? That's the nice be, that you've got there. Be kind, be you. Be coordinating. Kind, be you. It coordinates with the stamp set. So it has all these little dies that will cut out sentiments. Um, so and you will be able to use them with not just the stamp set. Um, that it comes with, but with all of your other sentiments as well, which is why it's so handy to have. So let's pop this in here. Very cute. So I feel like this little guy, what's your uh, iPod on? that um, this little guy here I uh, didn't colour in the heart on the front of his little um, notice because I didn't know what colour I was actually going to do the rest of it in so um, do I sit him in front of there do I add that like that any suggestions on composition? I'm lost. No, don't put the cat in the middle. No, I don't want to cover up all my sequins. I think a cat to the side where you add it. Yeah? Mm. How does that look? No? Yeah, that... Mm. You're not sure, are you? I'm not sure. I like the cat on the left. And the hugs underneath. Yes. Um, that's and Natalia where... suggests using stickles on the heart and the envelope. Lex oh, that's a good idea. Cat to the side. Lots of love for this card. People say that it's very. It's very cute, cute isn't it? Gorgeous. I can't get me. Um, oh, here we go. Now I can see. I thought if I look at it on screen, I'll be able to. I'll be able to know what I need to know. So I think stickles is a grand idea, but I don't know if I've got any pink stickles. Move but the sentiment down more. Answers. Move the sentiment down to there. I think if you go between the bottom of the heart and the bottom of the card, hmm. that's central. Yeah, sometimes central's a bit too literal, though, you see. I like central. Do you? I know you do. That's a good colour of stickles, isn't it? Um, but yes, I think now on reflection. Julie Hutchins says she would put the cat on the right and the centre oh. left on top of the heart. Card. Oh my goodness, so many different suggestions. This is what we were saying earlier about crafting is that there is no right or wrong. Everybody interprets differently. So you could do that. That could look quite good. Colour the heart pink and add stickles on top, clear stickles. I like the grapefruit. I'm going to go grapefruit with the grapefruit stickles. stickles. Um, great fruit sits well with it. So actually. I am going to, I'm going to wait to do that though, because I'll put my finger in it without <laughs> a shadow of a doubt. I don't like that, I've decided. Do I like that? I'm just waiting for um, Facebook to catch up with me, you see. I feel like it needs a longer sentiment or a bigger sentiment. I liked the sending crafty hugs. 
but I feel like it because obviously he's a little crafty guy but I feel like it just it's just not it's just not enough but don't worry because we've got so many other sentiments that we could use haven't we Mickey joins me, she says she would put the sentiment in the centre and sense. the cat on the left. Yeah, which is kind of where we had it, wasn't it, there? Alison says, I think a long, thin sentiment is needed. I do. Ant's thinking, time's up, your time's up. Um, I know, I know what you're saying. And, and do you know what, this is my most favourite sentiment, is that I miss your face. Um, I just love that sentiment. I do love that. Um, <laughs> what? So, Jenny says, How about leaving it and you decide in your own time and pick a winner later? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Francesca Vignoli is leaving us says night night everyone i'll catch up tomorrow see you tomorrow thank you for being so patient i quite like the idea of doing that and i think it might be an idea what time are we on it's half past ten half past ten so i think this might be one to finish later then because i can't decide i feel like it does need it needs a longer sentiment so i'm going to come back to this one but I'm going to show you the um, the grapefruit stickles because they're so cool. It's ten to ten, by the way, not half. Oh, isn't you were lying to me? But I do think I need to I need to ponder on it. Yeah. And I feel under pressure <laughs> because I feel. <laughs> Everyone's commenting now saying it's not half. Uh, you see, they're all grassing you up. You're so naughty. You see what he does to me? Right, I'm going to bring this a little bit closer. You're so bad. Um, they'll, be, they'll not be wanting you to come back because I just keep going for hours, <laughs> don't I? Um, so I think the stickles look really cool. And I think this is going to be a really cute card. Yeah, the stickles do look good. Um, and I love the, um, the shake card. I'm so glad I decided to do that. But I feel like it needs, it needs a bigger, different sentiment. Um, and I was thinking about doing, before I decided on the sending crafty hooks, um, I was thinking about doing um, a mashup of a different, um, the Home Sweet Home uh, die set. I can find it. Oh, I could just do, I could do um, the You Are Awesome, which would be very cool or the home sweet home you could spell out the word mew and i was going to do love mew yeah which i thought would be quite cute so the home sweet home one um you've got the m and the um e yeah. um and you could i don't think it would look right upside down though would it look like a w Mm, maybe. Mm, no. Bit iffy. Yeah. No. Okay. Too square. Too square. Okay. So maybe not that one then. Why don't you um why don't you write it on? Script it on. <laughs> no. no. I've got the you are awesome. The you are awesome would be very cute, wouldn't it? Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. So the you Everything are is great awesome. When you're part of a team just is a little bit bigger isn't it Alison says she's waiting for her hubby to come and start rubbing his belly to tell her to cook some food oh really maybe I'll start doing that to walk up to you no I'll it won't work I'll get a slap <laughs> you would give him a slap Alison <laughs> oh um, I can't decide my brain's gone dead I feel like I need to have a, a bit of a longer ponder on it Oh, decisions, decisions. I know, there's too many, too many choices I now. Think, yeah, you could, do, you could do both. You could do the send, you could do that on each corner of the heart and then you are awesome underneath. Yeah. 
again that feels oh, too that symmetrical too yeah too symmetrical. sometimes you don't want too much symmetry from a design perspective yeah you need things in you know to there be is. a little bit off um occasionally if it's too symmetrical it can be a bit too in your face yeah. um and uh yeah so that, i'm not i'm not always up for that really yeah. So, um, the other idea is to have like um, a, a hello. Um, hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Oh. And the hello sending crafty hugs, maybe. Oh, no, next word. Next word. So now that's, that was the extent of your knowledge there, wasn't it? Natalia says, I would try a single longer sentiment under the heart. That's what I want to do, and Natalia. That's what I left. want to do. That's what I want to do, but I can't decide on which sentiment. So this is, this is my quandary. <laughs> now it's getting frustrated with me. I'm not getting frustrated at all. Uh, chill, yeah. chill Are fun. you chilled? Are so you super chill. chill? Are you so chilled? Like a cucumber, I'm so chill. <laughs> um, right, okay. Let's do. I'm going to do I Miss Your Face because it's my favourite. Natalie says, What are the options? Well, do you not want to sleep on it? And then you, can, <laughs> you want me to you can right? decide tomorrow, can't you? My options really are um, not not necessarily to hand. That's the thing. So I'd have to have a good rummage through some of my my card. Um, sorry, some of my stamp sets to find them. Which at this late hour is quite. A challenge, isn't it? Everyone's telling you to go to bed and sleep on it. Are they? Mm. Or are you just sleep on it? You see, Alison says yes. Do it, Joe. What is she saying? Do it. Oh, do the. She's saying go to sleep. That's go to sleep. Do it. Sleep. <laughs> do it. Sleep. Yeah, I think so. I think so. We could do um, to my crafty friend or handmade with love. I miss your face on black under the heart tomorrow. That's what. Alison That's said. what I would say. Um, or you've got to my crafty friend. That's quite a nice one. Um, oh, we've got I miss your face. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a strip across there. Yeah. A whole strip. Sarah says, leave it for now. Look at it with fresh eyes. Fresh tomorrow. eyes tomorrow. I think that's the way to go, but I think Fresh I've got eyes. an idea. Why don't you put a vote on the Instagram story? Oh! And whoever gets the most votes by midday tomorrow, that's the one you'll go that's with. That's the one I'll go with. I shall see. I've got a plan in my in my brain, All but right. it's going to take a bit of doing. So um, it will. This one will be a surprise, and I might pop on at some point tomorrow and reveal it to you. Um, so yeah lots of ideas but thank you everyone for your input that's been so cool i miss your face seems quite popular yeah i miss your face is my mostest favorite so i think i miss your face will be quite good um or i do a little bit of a wider border in um a bit of a pattern so use one of our washi strips stamps to make myself a little bit of a pattern at the bottom or even use my line them up stencil to make myself a little bit of a graphic um pattern at the bottom so which many are, options so, there, there are so, so many, many options and this is OMG, but, so many what, options. what i do what just you know i think is worth worth saying is that there are so many options with your stamps and dies that they do all mix together your stamps your dies your stencils and um, they all mix together so well um that you you know the options then do become endless you can make so many different creations and and you would like you were saying before everybody will do they'll take the same product and do something completely different yeah exactly so um so let's just have a little look at what we've created so far today 
and then we'll bring Ant back into screen if I can. So we've um, got our half finished one here, which is still very, very cute. Um, we've got our little pig dancing in the rain amongst the clouds. That background almost looks like um, camouflage. Yeah, doesn't can't it? See it. <laughs> and then we've also got um, our sending bear hugs with Alison's awesome idea of the little banner in his hands. It's so cute, isn't it? I really, really pleased with them. They're really cool. So Amazing. lots of different, well, lots of different ideas there with all of your uh, stencils and stamp sets um, that you might not have thought of doing. Um, something a little bit different. So I hope that you have enjoyed that. Um, there's a couple of things that we probably just need to uh, update you on then if I can bring Ant back if he requests to join me again. Just bear with me. I'll try not to well, I'll put my hand right in front of it again. Might Hello. Echo, might echo a little bit again. You might do what when? It might, it might echo a little bit again. It will echo a little bit, but we'll not be on for long. We just want to um, say a little bit of a thank you to everyone for sticking with us so long and helping me make some decisions because um, clearly I'm not very good at that. Oh dear. What? <laughs> oh dear, Anthony's had a, had a little bit of a collapse. <laughs> I knocked my camera over. Oh no, we're having all kinds of issues. Well, yeah. Well, this is the first time that we've done it this way. Correct. So there are there are some ironing out of issues to do. Yes. <laughs> but we'll get there. Yes. <laughs> um, so things to just remind you of. Obviously, Anthony has told you, I'll give you a full name then. Oh, full name. And has told you all about um, the amazing deal that we've got going on till midnight tonight. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the one. Um, you're doing such a good job um so th there is that obviously and um, so do um you know if you haven't already then do grab those bargains while they're there um for the next couple of weeks then what's coming up i have um i'm taking part in the what's it called creative craft show um spring, spring festival, festival which is would have been um, a live craft show that would have been at the NEC, um, but is now having to be done virtually because of COVID. Um, so it's a really good um, thing that they're doing, I think, allowing us all to be able to meet up and craft together uh, in a way that we, you know, that we wouldn't have expected we'd had to do, but it's better than not doing, you know, these things at all. So there's lots of different, um, different areas that you can connect to if you buy a ticket there are different um like sections that i'm part of the paper craft den there is needle craft and other different um craft mediums on that you can be part of and then there as part of your ticket price you get work free workshops to all of those things i will be on at four o'clock They've given me the last one of the day because I will overrun the hour that I'm given. So prepare yourselves for an hour and a half, um, at least. Um, and then, uh, but you can, obviously, you can watch them after the event as well. So part of your ticket price means that you can watch them for, I think it's up to 30 days after the event. Um, you can also buy the products that I will be using as part of my demonstration there on their website now for you to buy if you want to um, so that you can craft along with me and have them um, you know I think it might be a little bit short notice now to get them before Saturday but you never know um, if you're quick. Um, so that's on Saturday. Next week we've got a new release which is awesome and part of that release will be a limited edition kit the first kit that we've ever done um and it will be a spring kit so i'm really really excited to, to share that with you because um it's really cool i've been making samples with it to share with you and i've loved playing with it so um i know you're gonna love that as well it is amazing and Ant's helped me put that together as well that's he's, like so amazing yeah he's had his input to make sure that um i'm doing it right and i'm spelling everything right <laughs> um and then 
the following weekend, so the 28th of February, I will also be hosting a live in the Crafting Together with All Brands at 8 p.m. on the Sunday evening. Um, and again, I will be doing a, a live uh, crafting session. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing on that one yet, so that's a surprise to me as well oh. <laughs> so um but that will be worth uh, worth watching as well because that's totally free um so i think that's it yeah. i think that's all the news for the moment lots happening over the next sort of seven to ten days uh, to keep us busy um but uh, it's all good stuff it's all good fun ah it's so much fun <laughs> you will love it you will love um it. yeah so just keep a quick recap on that so Midnight for all the offers on today, 25% off stencils, collection, caddy, brushes, 20% off that, um, the caddy itself, 10% off that. Um, and then Saturday, the 20th, at 4 pm, um, Creative Craft Show, Spring Festival. Where do they go to get access to that? Is that Facebook page? So, yeah, it's the um, Creative, Creative Craft Show uh, website, yeah. they'll be able to buy tickets. But if you check our our website there yeah. are links to it um, yeah. on there as well well i'm sure when joe communicates this uh, video out anyway she'll put all links and stuff yes out anyway. absolutely and then next thursday on absolutely. facebook live we will reveal the new spring blooms kit <laughs> and the release and then the official release starts at 9 a.m the next day yeah that's so correct we're all excited on a thursday evening ready for a, a friday oh. crafting <laughs> And then um, you're so funny. The 28th of Feb, that is where Joe is doing the Craft with All Brands workshop at 8 pm. Head to their Facebook page, Crafting Together with All Brands, for all the details on that. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you, over to Joe. <laughs> it's like you're reading the news, it's so funny. Because I've got a list in front of me. You have, so, you've done very well. Are there any questions? then that i need to know no no questions no? Let's go. everybody's happy aunt's ready for a cup of tea i think i'm ready for a cup of tea sarah louise is saying hurry up next week and jenny says thank you joe and Anne. i'm off to bed yes i think we're off to bed now too aren't we we've, yeah thanks. We've, um, i've worn my brain out today now i think thanks everyone for the interaction tonight has been great. Yeah, fun. it's been awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. You've been fabulous as always. Um, and we'll see you next week if I don't see you before. I don't see you for a week, I see you for a window. Bye. 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 Bye.